Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Owner Bill Cast and his staff keep the tradition going with all those bakery items you remember as a kid. Just name a few. Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and more. You can also buy homemade Cavitalian ravioli. Bill's Bake Shop, located 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoningtown section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, closed Monday. Bill's, where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223. It's Butts Flowers when you want a wide variety of flowers for any occasion. They also have a selection of fine gifts and more. Butts Flowers is conveniently located in downtown Newcastle at 120 East Washington Street. Call Butts Flowers at 724-652-7727 or toll free from anywhere. 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now with two locations in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side and 1101 Highland Avenue. Call Cedars East, 724-658-9260 or Cedars North, 724-652-7657. There's more than meets the eye. You gotta give them a new castle, I try. The right small town for living. Look around. Hello, and welcome to Focus NC. Now, a lot of times, my buddy Matt Geiger would be here, or perhaps Gary West, who we haven't seen for a while. I hope Gary's doing fine. But this topic has particularly become, become like a battle cry. I've, I've tried a few different things, and... Um, Ignoring the problem wouldn't let it go away. And uh, so we have to talk about a little bit of r responsibility now. What am I talking about? Well, some people call it Friday Night Science. Other people call it sensationalizing the news. Uh, I call it just stupidity. There are many outfits out there that post things to draw attention to themselves. Now let's talk about social media first and then we'll make our way through to the issues at hand. Social media is a very important type of communication that exists just recently. Now, you shouldn't degrade or try to get revenge or punish another person on social media. That's just mannerless and wrong. By the same token, if you have something to say, and it's a fact, and you can back that up, then you should be socially responsible to report the fact. Not embellish it, not make it bigger than it is. If it's a suggestion on making something better, then by all means, air that suggestion on making things better. However, in the recent 12 months that have passed, NCTV 45 has taken a position to air exactly what's being misled 
or misleading people on the internet. At first, it was a security company's independent contractor who manipulated data to say that we're living in the worst place in the world. Now, if that was true, I would say, well, you know, let's consider what he's saying. We don't have any indoor plumbing. We have no local city, big cities close to us. We're without food. Yeah, you're probably right. We're pretty bad off. Even if they said, well, it was the worst pe place in Pennsylvania. However, the facts don't bear out what continues to be spewed out. Now we have this latest guy that's come along and uh, he's gone on Facebook. He's captured the attention of some pretty weak individuals um, saying about how bad Newcastle is. Now, you have to look at that. And, you know, you never want to be in a position to say, you know, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is there's a bear over there. The good news is I can run faster than you. You know, that's almost what he's trying to do on social media. Why? To draw attention to himself and his website. They're out of North Carolina. The website is called Road Snacks. Now, he uses something called, well, first of all, he went through and said, everybody in this great state has the same colors on their professional team. Now, this said Steelers. It didn't say Eagles. It didn't say Phillies. It's not a Flyers or a 76ers jersey. And yes, in Winchester, Pennsylvania, we're black and gold. The Steelers, the Pens, and the Pirates. I never knew that created a real degradation of a state. Number two, he goes on to talk about Friday Night Science. Now, I took and I looked through Webster's Dictionary. I saw chemistry. I saw physics. I saw biology. I saw a lot of other sciences, but I saw nothing dealing with Friday night science. Now, this is what that tells you is that he made it up and he mixed together a bunch of things not to offend people in bigger cities. How foolish can you be? We've exposed it. We did before anybody else did. Then there was an interview on a TV or radio station and we blasted it. Then a newspaper thought, well, let's get into the, the, the act and let's do the same thing. And it was on social media, something I was told that all oh, newspapers don't go to social media. Well, that's wrong. You know, so what could we gain as being members of the greatest castle in the world? in the county of Lawrence. Yeah, you folks that live in the Shannock, you folks that live in Laurel, Shenango, Mohawk, I got news for you. You're all part of Lawrence County. And when somebody says, where are you from? You say Newcastle. Nine times out of 10, 
the word is, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Newcastle. Why then do that to your own place of living? It makes no sense. You're only contributing to the delinquency of a guy that makes up words to justify his position. The next time somebody comes out with a report, review it, go over it, and by all means, think about what's being said. It's very, very important because the businesses that support you are based here. The people that support your business live here. Why not think about that and say, hey, wait, this guy, he's got it all wrong. We live in the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Flip it. Learn your history. Know your facts. Stay informed. For NCTV 45, this was a Focus NC. And I'm Angelo Parada, CEO and owner of NCTV 45. Make sure you have a great day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Until then, have a pleasant evening. The Crane Room for your lunch and dinner rendezvous. You'll enjoy their pleasant atmosphere. The Crane Room takes pride in their wide variety menu. Appetizers, sandwiches, soups, salads, entrees, pasta, and the best burgers in town. Newcastle's best selection of domestic, import, and craft beers from around the world. And the Crane Room features a 35-tap draft system. Ask about their daily specials that will please you every time. The Crane Room is located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Neshannock Township. Call 724-656-1553. Beanery Depot and Deli. Coffee, made to order subs, snacks, and more. Meatball sandwiches, fresh and hot. Pepperoni rolls, fish sandwiches, chicken, milkshakes. The Beanery Deli. When you're hungry for something special and it won't cost you a lot of beans. Wow, yes, it's fun to go to the Y. And now, with great affordable rates, it's more swimming, more exercise, more family time. The YMCA in downtown Newcastle, or the Y Zone on Eleanor Drive in Shannon Township, welcomes you to a variety of programs, exercise, and fun events. Joshua Sun Rehabilitation Center. From the moment you arrive, you know that you're in the right place. Dr. John Wrightson listens first. He pays attention to detail and then makes the determination. Joshua Sun Rehabilitation. We make the pain go away. There's more than meets the eye. Got a gift and a new castle I tried. The right small town for living. Look around.